Halsey Minor. It's been a couple of months since you were here, but oh my gosh, today is a big day because you've got some things to share with us. And um, before we get right down into the weeds, I want people to understand who you are. You've been building businesses for 27 years and just give everybody a little bit of an introduction and what you've done in the past. Well, it's been, it's been a long time. Um, you know, highlights, I started CNET Networks and turned it into a NASDAQ 100 company. And I left to co-found Salesforce.com. And I started Google Voice, a company called OpenDNS. It's about the companies that I've founded or co-founded are worth about $275 billion today. And, um, and have about 350 million uh, visitors. In this industry, I started um, a company called Uphold in 2013, um, and then uh, and then a company called uh, called Public Mint. It's a great way to connect your your bank account um, and be able to get uh, crypto returns. You know, instead of getting 0.3 percent, you get you know eight to 10 percent. Um, so they they just launched their <clears throat> their app, but um, but yeah, so um, been been building companies for a long, a long time. Yeah, I think uh, most people might know you for Salesforce, uh, and uh, and you did something really big for Google too. You did you did yeah. Other... Um, Google Voice is a company yeah. that I started. Um, it was called Grand Central, mm -hmm. and uh, and now it's. Um, it's pretty much the same application that we sold to them like 10 years ago, um, but it, it's, it's basically their, their voice platform. So I saw your new website today. You know, I, yeah. it's it, liquid love. I love it. I don't know. I don't know who came up with that, but I love it. And the, <sighs> gel, the jellyfish is really, it's really a beautiful website. I mean, you know, thank you being in this part of uh the seat, I, I look at a lot of sites and it is a beautiful, beautiful website. But what's even more important is you are bringing these multimedia NFTs to the market. I'm talking about creating NFTs that are combining PDFs, 3D objects, video, audio, any digital file in one. And, and this is what absolutely blew me away. It's updatable, meaning you can add data to that NFT 10 years later, and you're going yeah. to explain like a use case of why someone would want to do that and what the impl yeah, what the applications could be. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, today, most NFTs are really media. You're buying a JPEG, or you're buying a video or you're buying audio. So, so what we allow you to do is to be able to have in a single NFT audio, video, all the things you said, audio, video, um, graphics, 3D objects. And so, and so that makes the NFTs themselves um, a whole lot more valuable. So for instance, instead of selling a song, you sell a song that has, you know, cover art that has a video of the recording studio. I mean, you can put so much more content that, that makes it so much more valuable to, to the person, to, to the buyer. So, so that's kind of, that's sort of the di digi digital realm, right? And the, and the advantage of having, you know, this rich media. Um, but we also create entirely new kinds of use cases. So for instance, this, you know, this is a huge use case for kind of all brands, but I'm gonna take an extreme example and I'll, I'll talk uh, about how Hermes and their very expensive bags would, would, um, uh, would, would fit in this. So, so a $15,000 Hermes bag looks pretty much like a $750 Chinese bag, right? So, so it would it work like this. So Hermes sells the bag and they sell, they, when you get the NFT, the NFT has um, proof of authenticity. Um, it has a video of how it was made. It has a uh, image of your bag, other content, but because it's also updatable, they can now maintain a relationship with their customer into the future. And, and if you sell the bag, that relationship goes, goes with the bag. So the really kind of two, two big things in our sort of NFT 2.0 uh, platform, rich media that, you know, thir up to 32 gigabytes of media in a single NFT um, that can be in any, basically any digital form um, and the ability to update them. 
And, um, and I think that's gonna make the NFT industry 50 times as, as big. Yeah, I think the applications that it'll be used ha haven't even been uh, dreamt up yet. So nope. this is, yeah, this is uh, so amazing. So you've got the, the 10 years uh, later, you, you gave an example on your website about a Grammy artist who might want to add a documentary to that. It, it's just uh, mind blowing to think that you can, I don't know how that technology is done, but the fact that you can continue to have that relationship and also uh, add to the value of the NFT. I mean, you <clears throat> create more value as time goes on with that initial release. It's amazing. Yeah, and, and we see it working two ways. Um, the, the, the original creator can update it, hmm. um, but you can also update it yourself. So you can add content to it. Um, so, so it kind of works, we, we really see it kind of working both ways, right? So you could add content about the bag that you bought and they could add, add content uh, as, as well. Um, so you do get this sort of legacy thing happening where, you know, um, NFTs start letting you tell stories about things. Um, right. Those things can be people, you know? I mean, you know, the, uh, the example that, you know, um, you know, of, of individuals and their families and, you know, turning, turning moments of life into NFTs become things that are, are now uh, both possible and interesting. Yeah, for future generations, it, it would be precious to be able to see a multimedia uh, NFT of your grandfather, for example, someone who you yeah. never met or someone, someone who you don't have really an idea of what he was like as a young man you only remember him in his in his older age, but yet right. you've got this legacy that's captured. So um, in I'm a just container, gonna, in a single container. Which yeah, I in think a is, single yeah. container. So 32 gigs is that the? It, I know that's a lot, but let me just think if I did combine four media's together, like uh, photographs, video, audio, and a PDF. How long would the video be? I mean, to, how long could it be when you're dealing with 32 gigs? So, so I think a, a two-hour movie, if I'm right, is about six gigabytes. Oh, so wow. you're talking about, I don't know, how many two-hour movies is that? Five? Oh, wow. Um, that's a lot, so, of, yeah. that's a lot yeah. of content. In it's mind. a lot of content. It's a lot of content. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, we, we had a particular skill a year ago when we started building this in video. And so we really um, approach this from the problem of, you know, it's very difficult to do video NFTs, long, long uh, form video. And, um, and as we started solving that problem, we really realized that we, 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 could, we could use the same basic infrastructure for any kind of media. It didn't have to be uh, video. And um, we use uh, DRM, which is digital rights management, which is just a way of saying, um, that it's a way of kind of locking down the, the, the media. It's the way Netflix works, for, for instance. Um, and so we saw the opportunity not just to be able to do long form videos, but to be able to put you know, really anything in that, in that basket. Um, but yeah, there, it's, it's, it's a very large slice. Wow. So uh, I was on the website and I saw that you have this Vivid Open and then Vivid Pro. And it looks like one is a turnkey rapid deployment, and one is a more uh, rich uh, applications that can be customizable. But if you can just explain yeah. that a little bit more. Yeah, the, um, the, the Vivid Open has some of the functionality of Vivid Pro. Vivid Open is basically what we set out to build a year ago. So it is, um, it's free to use and it takes advantage of our video skills and it allows you to create video NFTs. In order to take advantage of the multi uh, format uh, and updatable, that's, uh, that's Vivid Pro. And so, and so we have this sort of turnkey platform um, and you know, we're starting to announce our you know, first customers and, um, um, and so um, the, 
the, um, the application is very, very easy for people to set up their own marketplace. That's the goal. Make it really easy for you to, to um, for what, whatever your area of interest is or your community is to be able to, to set up and publish NFTs. Um, and, and those uh, are all stored on, our, on our, the bid blockchain. Um, and, you know, our goal is to make, you know, bid one of the top NFT, you know, blockchains in the world, taking advantage of the fact that we have kind of a next generation solution for the industry. Um, so easy to use, very, very powerful, runs on the bid blockchain. Um, and then, like, as I said, the, the open uh, version is really just for video. And the, and the, the vid token integrates into that ecosystem in, yes. in what in what way? Remind me. Well, again. It's, it's actually yeah, it's actually running it's running on the vid blockchain, and we pay our our community um, to provide all of the the resources um, that runs our network. So all of the video processing, all that, all happens on the on the vid on the video the sort of vid network. Yeah. Okay. Understood. And then. I think you might have an announcement to make that's uh, something, a project you're working on that looks, seems very fun. Do you wanna talk about that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we've got a bunch of great projects uh, coming up. The one that's um, it's launching um, today is a company called Natural Selection and their uh, extreme sports company, kind of like, like Red Bull. Um, event and, and marketing company, and they do things like they're the the top you know, snowboarding events, for instance. Um, and they want to take advantage of being able to do rich media uh, NFTs, and so um, so they're they're uh, we're announcing today that they're that they're launching. We've got a bunch of great projects, a lot of really really great projects coming up um, that you know are. Are taking advantage of the fact that we have next generation capabilities. Do the snowboarders wear a camera, maybe on their, <laughs> on their or maybe maybe they're being shot oh, exactly. from the distance? <clears throat> I'm, I'm curious. So, where will we be able to see those NFTs when they're done after after the snowboarding event occurs? Will we be able to view that? Um, Yes, the uh, I think I don't know the exact date when they're launching. I think they're launching Monday. Okay. Um, uh, I, I'd have to I'd have to check, but um, yeah, they're launching in advance of their event. What, I believe so what, we probably can't talk about the location that they're doing this in. I'm just curious what snow they're they're going to be. Oh, yeah, Jackson Hole. In Jackson Hole. In Jackson okay. Hole. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They do a bunch of events, a bunch of different places, but the. The first event they're doing with NFTs is is in, is coming up in Jackson Hole, good, Wyoming. Good, good snow conditions right now. Good, good, very good. I think. Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. Well, I I'm just so happy to have seen you get this far, and because the last time we talked, it was uh, I think still being baked, and it yes. looks like that it's out of the oven now. So that's yeah. that's super yeah. exciting. Yeah. It was um it was a, a heroic um uh effort on on behalf of our engineering team to be able to to build something like this and um you know i, I you know it's for us it's um you know it's a great project great product i mean i'm, I'm very proud of what we've built um, but i think it's also the future for the industry and mm -hmm. um, i think anybody who sees what we're doing is going to realize that this is where the industry wants to go because mm -hmm. it makes the value of everything go up yeah, I, I, I just congratulate you and thank you also for bringing this to the market. I, I just know it's going to be world changing. Super excited. Yeah. Well, I will leave you to wrap up any last minute uh, message you want to give us. I, and I, I don't want to lose touch with you. Uh, as I had said before, um, please come back in another six months and update us as to some of those customers yeah. and some of the use case examples. But please go ahead and wrap it up for us. Yeah, you know, I'd love to have people join the uh, Vivid Labs community. Um, tokens is Vid, and it's what you know drives all this incredible functionality. So um, you know, we have a we have a, a great and growing community, and and we are, um, um, you know, I think we're really well positioned to be 
one of the most important blockchains when it comes to NFTs by the end of 2022. I, I think we've got a really good, I think we've got a really good shot of, 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 of moving the industry. So, and, and I want to thank you for, for your, your time again. Yeah, well, really I, I'm just in love with this space <laughs> and especially the space that you are in, in terms of that vertical of NFTs and this multimedia it's updatable. Like I said, I'm just really blown away by it. And I just am excited for everybody who's going to be able to use this. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Halsey. We'll talk okay. soon. Okay. All righty. Bye-bye.